Hello and welcome to a new video about my MQTT motor controller. All right. So actually we managed that we are connected to the Wi-Fi. And now I want also to connect to the MQTT broker. That's the goal. All right. So actually what I'm going to do is simply extend the things we just did yeah, with parameter strings, with names and so on stored in EEPROM. Uh, and and status beta will extend to connect to Wi-Fi, uh, wi to MQTT, of course, the MQTT broker. Therefore, I want to build in also a LED, which shows me if I'm connected to the MQTT broker or not. And this MQTT LED, I will just place, where will I place it? Here, it's 23, next to the Wi-Fi LED, X output 23. This is where I am going to add this. All right. Hardware setup complete. Switch to the computer. All right. So at the computer, I'm going to add my LED. This is the first thing I do because then I forget about it. Okay. So we make a Define and we call it MQTT. Ah, let's call it IoT. We want to be open. Uh, and was 23. IoT LED. And where I got this here. Pin mode IoT LED. As output. Alright. That's step one. Alright. So. What, what else do we need? Uh, we need, of course, to, to add new parameter strings. Uh, so, parameter string. What do we need for, for MQTT? We need a host. Uh, I call it IoT host. That's the, MQT, the address of the MQTT broker. Uh, then we need a username. Okay, then we need a password. IoT pass. Usually. Good. Uh, then we need an IoT client. Client ID, a client ID that we can set that only one client is allowed to connect to the MQTT broker. So these are the things we need. I have to also address the, the positions. I have to also address the positions of this uh, of those of those things. So in in EEPROM offsets, I'm going I'm going to add those. Uh, here we have offset SSID. So let's define. Uh, we can just yeah, extend this list. We had IoT host. This must be on address 50 plus 30 is 80. And how many Mm, can be long. Yeah, when I think about when I think about the the addresses of hyphen Q, for instance, I'm going to to use this. Then this can be long, so seventy. This is good. Ooh. This is good. IoT host seventy. Then we have the user we said eighty plus seventy is one hundred fifty. Yeah. Username can be shorter. Then we had the password, IoT password. It's 180 this time. Let's say also 30 digits of password should be sufficient. And then we have the client ID. Uh, 
and there must be 210. And how long is the client ID? This can be shorter. This can be shorter. All right. So now we know the the parameter strings where they are located. Yeah? Now we need to be able to fill them. Yeah? And this, of course, works again with this Wi-Fi callback. In this Wi-Fi callback, we have several other things. Yeah? We have, for instance, uh, new, 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 uh, new user case. IoT callback, this is, ah, there is a new, what is the first one? New user. And here, here we have then to use IoT user. And set string exactly like before. Set string, and here we have the character pointer and this add info exactly as it worked before. Yeah? As it worked, for instance, here you see with the new password. Yeah? Uh, output port here. Yeah. I'll copy this again. Yeah. IoT username change to. Okay, break. Then we have, of course, the case IoT callback print. Print user. Then we have to print it out. Uh, how is this working? Exactly as before. So actually what I can do, I can see, simply copy that. Uh, and I am using here IoT user. That's it. Okay. So I have a new user. Then we could have also a new pass. How is this called? IoT callback new new pass okay and I will use IoT pass here and say IoT password change to and here I have case IoT callback print print pass Okay, now we have the password. Uh, the host, of course, would be interesting. How is this called? IoT callback new host. Here we have it. IoT host. IoT server address change to and here we have also IoT callback print host actually and here host okay this is good this is good this is good and we have still one to go the client ID Good.
Okay, so actually we should already be able to change or to set and reset those values. Huh? No? Let's try. Let's upload this. Okay, we are uploaded. Good, so we uploaded, so we connected to Wi-Fi, so we say set IoT host test host. Set host test host. Ooh! Ooh! Crash! Why? Ah, I have not yet, I have not yet produced those, hey, 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 here, those lines of a new parameter string. Cuckoo, hast, uh, IoT, uh, user, new para string, offset, IoT user len IoT user hast of course those things I have not yet produced them IoT user then it's IoT pass then it's IoT host then it's IoT client ID user Pass host host and client ID. Client ID. Good. Upload this. Now it should work. Now it should work. <laughs> Ooh. No, it does not work. Building fail. IOT. I should write it correct. Yeah. Now it should work. Now it should work. Okay, set host, test host. Ooh, I just have address. Okay, get host, test host. All right, all right, all right. This is working. Uh, what else? Uh, set IoT user, I think this is. Man MQ, my MQTT username. Okay, set. And now get out the user. Is this stored? Yes. Then set IoT pass my MQTT password. Get IoT pass. This is working. I check the host, I check the at user ID. Set user ID, and a client ID, this was. Client ID, I hope this is the correct uh, command. Uh, Hans. My client ID is Hans. Jawohl! Jawohl! Uh, get client ID. Hands. Okay, so we prepared now our program. We will also 
prepare new status and I will use exactly the same status like we've used uh, in, in, where is this here? I'll just go further. Three, four, five, and this is not not Wi-Fi. It's IoT. Yeah. IoT. IoT. Good. This is the status status byte. I have extended for to support IoT connection. Good. What else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, we need the pub sub client. This is the client. This is the client we are we are using. Yeah? So I will add this pub sub client as well. Pub sub client. All right. So. What else do we need? We need to have a connection. Yeah, we need to have a connection. So I'm. I will say uh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi client secure. Wi-Fi client secure. Uh, Wi-Fi client. This is to open a connection. Yeah. And then we need the pub sub client, yeah? and this is the MQTT client, and this needs to have the connection Wi-Fi client. Wi-Fi client secure. This is how it should be spelled. Can I compile it? Ah, I think I also have. What I've used are only Wi-Fi, so I have also to include uh, include Wi-Fi client secure. Since I want to use I want to use hive MQ hive MQ uh, hive hive as MQTT broker, I need to use ah now it's working. Look, no. How is this spelled? This there? Wi Fi? Client? Maybe I should compile it once more. Huh? That it checks that I've included this Wi Fi client secure here. Two errors. Hmm. Uh huh. Now it's working or what? Now it's working or what? All right. The only thing which was added is this SSL client over here. Maybe we need this. Maybe we need this, huh? Can it be compiled? If it can be, if it could be compiled, I will stop this video because next time then we have everything set up for real connection uh, maybe some timers are still missing we will add this in next video yeah uh, then we we have all the things yes it's working yes 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 it is working good uh, good uh, in next video we will do the real connection to the mqdt client for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye